não dois na ré. I got an old classic. I got an old uh, 04 Crown Victoria and it's got 64,700 miles on it. Yeah. It's 20 years old. I'm gonna keep that car for the rest of my life probably. That's too rude, I ain't got it. It's got right at 40,000 on it. Yep. I got a Ford Ranger out here I drive and it's got 139,000 on it. I bought it new. I had a triple the avalanche. It had 129,000 on the body. Yep. About 135,000 on now. Yeah. Has it got the 5.7 in it? Vortex? It's a 5.4 liters. 5.4, yeah. It's either 5.4 or 5.7, or I think they had a 6.2 as well in those. Like a Tahoe. It's a gas Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Anything with eight cylinders now is uh, pretty hard on gas. We've got a 40 gallon gas tank on it. Yeah. It takes 200 dollars for gas tank. Yeah. Well, it's got a 30 gallon, I think it's got a 31 gallon tank on it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a 30 gallon tank on it. Yeah, it's got a 31 gallon tank on it. Now my Ford Ranger. Yeah. Well, that's the way my Crown Vic is. It just sits there, and unless we go on a long trip or something, then we'll take it. It's a good cruiser. Yep. <laughs> I knew somebody who pulled a fishing boat with the cars like I got. The Crown Vic, it's got that 4.6 liter V8 in it, and they pull boats and trailers and everything with those cars. Because it's got a full frame on them just like a truck does. Gotta have that, gotta have that, uh, the truck's frame with taking the rest of the car apart. Yeah, I know. I don't have a, even have a hitch on my car. But I wouldn't pull nothing with my car. It, it's too hard on them. I thought it's all living them, it's all welded. But it wasn't about it, it weighs about 1,500 pounds. Yeah. 
Yeah, plus the trailer on it with that with that too adds more weight too. Thank y'all. Y'all. Yep. Bye bye, y'all. Have a good one. Oh, my God. Let's see. All right. Hudden got his hair cut. <laughs> I filmed it. I got five minutes of it. Yeah. That's about all it took him. Didn't take him long. Well, everybody, you got to see Puddin get his hair cut. I thought we'd do that real quick for y'all and make the trip back to where we was going. Let me turn this back to regular. Yeah. Let Puddin in. There we go. Where's my wallet? There's my wallet. There it is. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm going to spoil the video going. Take a little longer video going back. There we go. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Going, to, we drove over here, then we got Hood's haircut, and then we're going back over here to the rib shack. Uh, today it's been cool enough. We haven't really needed the air or nothing because it's only 55 or 57 degrees. Right. Well, that's the fastest barbershop I've ever seen. Yeah, I was surprised. I come in there and you was already in the seat. Yeah, I know. That wasn't in there. Yeah. Yep. We got here right on time. Yep. Now we're going to take you down the other way here. We're going to go straight down the center. All right, here we go, folks. We went that. We come in that way, so we're going to go down this way now. Film all something different. Boy, the sky's blue. Bus, 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 bus. Right here, I was going down 120 mile an hour on this spot right here, and I bottomed out right there in that dip. Right there. I was in my 62 Galaxy 500. I was doing 130 down through there, and I hit that dip so hard that the shot, the springs bottomed out, and I scrubbed my mufflers on the pavement. That's how fast I was going. The weight of the car just kept on dragging me down. Like it was going to drag me into Hades or something. That was something. A uh, guy was behind me. Yep, I know. I, I, I get nervous. But a guy was behind me, and he pulled up beside of me at the next place we pulled up. He said, man, when you hit that dip, he said, I saw sparks of showers of sparks coming out from underneath that car. And I looked under my car, and uh, sure enough, they hit it right my uh, exhaust, my mufflers. They was raked a little bit. They wasn't bad. It was just enough to make a shower, you know. But I was moving. To, to make that car squat six or seven inches enough to where it would scrape the ground. And this here's another place right here. But I was already slowed down before I got here. My papa used to live over there to the left. But I smell pavement. They paving. Paving something. Must be up ahead of us here. But the skies are beautiful today, I tell you. Can't ask for a better, beautiful, more beautiful day. You've had a couple of them here in the last couple of days. But I hope you enjoy these videos. I enjoy making them. For you all to see the beautiful country and the beautiful skies and beautiful back roads. Every time I go on a trip or a back road, I'll take y'all with me. City limit. The city limit sign. Well, that car lot finally went, I guess they went out. Of, well, they still got the old signs back there. Rocket Center Auto Shop. They are almost out of business because they have been, they was known for lemons back in the day. You get a lemon there because I knew a woman one time. I was, a, I was not very old. I was about 12, 12 years old. So this is about 70 or 80. 82 no 
88, about 1988. And that woman, she bought a car from there. I think it was a 71 or 72 Dodge Charger. And she pulled across that railroad track back there. And she, the car died on her. It broke down. Oh, let's see. Let's see how much they charge in here. All right? Are you, you want to wait? Is this what it's called? Oh, no. Let's see. It's called Salon Republic. I remember that. Salon Republic. Down here. Let's see. How much longer these? I think you got to go. Yes, you do. Uh, we'll okay. All right. But anyway, yeah, she broke down, and then the train hit the car before she could get it unstuck from the track. And man, she was uh, she was tore up about that. She lost that car that she had just bought, and because it broke down on the railroad tracks, they uh, she asked them would they uh, give her her money back on the car. They said no. It was as is, no warranty on the car. Uh, she was really livid, buddy. <laughs> anyway, let's walk in here a minute. All right, we got almost a 12 minute video, so we'll make another video here in a minute. We're gonna go 12 minutes, just like we did. But I really appreciate y'all watching. I love y'all um, and all that. So y'all be good, and we'll see you on the next video. We're gonna make one more video today. We got, this is the middle one. So we're making three, about three 12 minute videos today. So we're really doing some filming today, uh, everybody. But uh, you all be good. I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to watch all the way to the end on all my videos. Uh, you never know what we're going to get into. Like Puddin got his hair cut on this one. You didn't know that was going to happen, did you? <laughs> We're always in a little bit of uh, surprises. So I love y'all. Bye-bye.